So I'm outside the Starbucks on, on uh, Sunset in La Brea. I'm stealing some Wi-Fi so I can upload this video for you guys. The, the meetup is in two hours and the weather is looking a little suspect, but it's all good. I'm keeping a positive outlook on things. It's going to work out exactly how it's supposed to. Rain, snow, sleet, or hail, I'm going to be there waiting uh, to meet you guys. So. But I know everything's gonna work out how it's supposed to, like I said. Um, I'm excited, you know. I just I just wanna talk to you guys. I just wanna hear your stories, as always. And it, it just means so much to me that people actually take time out of their day to travel, to come, just to come see me and to come talk to me. And I, I don't take that for granted. I want y'all to know that and get used to me expressing how appreciative I am because it's never gonna stop so fast forward if it bothers you so I just pull up to the to uh, Runyon Canyon excited to meet the people so I'm about to go in here and see if anybody got, got here yet how you doing <laughs> What's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? How you been? I'm blessed. How you doing, Glenn Allen? Nice to meet you, brother. Very nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Thank just you. What's going on, boss? Glenn. Good to meet you. I think the struggle is real, man. I understand it, brother. And I just, uh, I would say probably within the past month or two, my boy put me on to your page and uh -huh. stuff, started checking things out. And it's like, man, it mirrors like what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Jordan. Eagles fan. What's, What's up, up man? Too. Thanks for coming out, brother. Yeah. How you doing? Nice, nice to meet you. What's your name? Oh, you. Oh, you're Patriots fan. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Glenn. Glenn. Yeah. What's, What's going on, bro? Yeah. What's good, man? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you guys for coming out, man. Thank you guys for coming out. Come holler at me, bro. Yeah, man. Oh, it's crazy, man. Cause like, dog, I feel like we have mirror lives. Like, bro, I used to be like 265, bro. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. So I've been on the journey, good, bro. I had man. lost it, and then I gained it, mm -hmm. lost it. And now, like, I'm on new levels now. Because I was, uh, like, following you before, because I was, like, real big, and I saw your photo. Mm -hmm. From before YouTube, or? Before YouTube. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and then you was, like, I thinking about starting a YouTube page. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, do it. I'll watch it. And then you started it, and it was like maybe 15 of them. Wow, and yeah, it's yeah. 50, it's 50,000. 50, so it's almost 60,000 now. Like, wow, that's crazy. And yeah, that was I, like last yeah, year, bro. I appreciate that, bro. We like to comp overcomplicate exercise. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not it's not as complicated as we as a lot of people will make it it's, it's really simple like you find a few exercises that work multiple muscles you know what i'm saying and you do them consistently intensity you if, if you break a sweat every day you want to have a nice balance of cardio and weight training of course but you don't even need a gym you don't like you can do body weight you can there's so many options and i know that's why a lot of people are confused but if you like, all right, I, since I discovered circuit training, circuit training is how I really broke past my, I had a, I was on a plateau for like 18 months. And it wasn't until I, I started doing circuit training and really like bringing the intensity in my workouts. Now, and, and this is a thing too, I don't wanna, like intensity is important, but more important than intensity is consistency. Like if any, anybody watching my channels, I always preach that. Like you don't, you wanna enjoy your workouts. You know what I'm saying? You definitely, want to enjoy your workouts and you 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 don't want to push yourself to the point where you discourage yourself especially in the beginning you know what i'm saying like you want to take it slow and um but consistency is the most important thing like the scale watching i don't do scale watching i don't i just think it's a setup you set yourself up because there's so many variables that contribute to that number and oftentimes it's the worst way to to, to measure your progress the worst way and i like I, I remember the scale used to control me emotionally and that's what made me really hate it because i remember times like stepping on the scale if the number didn't move as much as i wanted to i would like binge you know what i'm saying like i would binge i would not go to the gym where, where it could have been a series of things. I, I I was getting smaller, but the number wasn't changing. I, I was putting on muscle. I probably was retaining water because my sodium was high. There's so many factors that contribute to that number, and a lot of us we don't really know how to use the scale, you know. 
So my thing is like, look at your energy levels, look at um, how strong you feel in the gym, how well you're sleeping, um, things like that. The inches, how your clothes are fitting, because like for instance, on my cut now, the scale's not really moving, at, you know, it's not really going down drastically, but I look a lot different than I d did when I started my cut. And it's not, it, it, the, if I was just de depending on that number on the scale, I would have been discouraged. You can, you can work out for 30 minutes a day. Legit. Legit. Get it in, a small step. Yeah, legit. And, and even, even if that's all you can spare for, for forever, mm -hmm. it's enough. It's enough if you if you gradually increase your intensity and you, because it's unlimited intensity, you can't run out of intensity. You know what I'm saying? So as you get in more shape, if that's all you can spare, you can get it done. You can get it. You can lose 100 pounds working out 30 minutes a day, four to five days a week. It can be done. But a lot, you know, we, we have like I said, we have the typical we have the tendency to overcomplicate it. It's not complicated. Just move. Just move and eat as you know, eat as healthy as we can, while still enjoying your food. Yeah, it's, yeah of course, right. and I understand that. Some onions chopped up with your sweet potatoes. Like you can season with like regular stuff. Like I season with cilantro and onions and ginger. That alone has its own salts in it and makes the food taste amazing. But here's the thing, bro. You cook. It sounds like you cook. Oh yeah, and I cook. a lot of people don't cook, and that's I was the just problem. About to like say I don't cook. How do you slice that? Simple ingredients. You can slice an onion, some no, black don't. pepper. Simple ingredient. I mean, anything you if you really if you want it, it depends on how bad you want it. If you don't really want it, you're not gonna do it. That's true. And that's anything in life, like. You gotta suck it up sometimes. Yeah. Like I mess up at times. It's sometimes I go through a whole bag of candy and I eat like crazy or I go to a family thing and I'll go and I used to be like, oh, should I go run 20 miles and yeah. go sweat in a sauna and yeah. feeling yeah. guilty? Yeah. But yeah. I stopped there. I stopped beating myself yeah. up. And I just go to the next day and I do whatever I was exactly. gonna do. And three days exactly. later I feel great. I feel even better. I exactly. feel like it even refueled me. Exactly. Like I feel 20 times better. I just don't let it beat you up. It's all a mental game. At the LA meetup, man, people. I got some really great souls with me. I'm, I'm very appreciative that the, uh, these people came out and uh, showing love and sharing their stories, man. This means a lot to me. We're about to get a quick little workout in though. Good work, good work, good work. Come on, let me help you up, you got it? Thank you, brother. Good work, good work. All right, how y'all feeling? Feeling good, wasn't expecting this. You wasn't expecting what? A workout. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it's an action kickback. I should've known, man. Yeah. We hella active, okay? The real Bricks Fitness don't play no games. <sighs> I miss this place, man. I it's so nostalgic being back here. It's been a, a minute since I've been back to LA, but I miss this place like with a passion. And we miss you too. Come back for real, man. Like I, a lot of my personal growth happened here, you know, because of the things that happened here. So I have a, a, a an attachment to this city that I can't even explain. But it's good to be back. My man Jay came out, show love. I just appreciate the energy. So this is the million dollar view at Runyon Canyon that, that is famous that you that you guys see on social media all the time. Look at this. I swear to man, there's nothing like this city. There's nothing like this view.
So I'm hanging out with my man Jordan and he took, he took me to his roof deck and got a really dope view of the city. So today was awesome, man. Today was awesome. And of course I had problems at TSA as always. Um, but a shout out to everybody that came to the meetup. It was an honor to meet you guys and spend time with you and, and, and hear your stories. I really appreciate you guys more than anything. Uh, I made a, I made some really good friends on this trip. Overall, it was it was definitely a life changing experience. Uh, I love LA. I definitely will be back in a few weeks. Uh, so now I'm about to get on this plane, go back home, cause RJ's birthday is Monday. So I gotta hurry up and get home. Uh, shout out to everybody who came out. Like I said, I'm just trying to share the wellness with you guys. And hopefully I get home soon. So get well and get money. <laughs>